All right, John here. I'm going to try to get this uh, cap rock out of here. Um, I've got it all loosened up. I'm going to need two hands, so i got to set the camera down. But it should come right on out. Oh, and look at that, just on time. A horse fly. Definitely a heavy one. What do we got going on here? There's crystals down in there. Alright, when we get this clay off, I'm sure there's a few more floating around in there. But that's very promising in that section at least. And this is up against the wall. This is all of the mica up against the wall. I can tell there's quartz in there. Here's some quartz right here. That seems to be attached, but all of this is promising too. So, this is where that came from. All of this stuff I'll save right here. This stuff is what fell down after it. I can see that there's some quartz in here. But it mostly looks like mica and clay. That's quartz. This piece fell down. It was on the side of it. A lot of quartz in that. I see root tail right there. You can see there's the wall rock with loads of mica and other goodies on there. Now, I want to get down to getting this one out and this one too. All of this is very promising because it's below the, the, the big cap rock. It's, it's looser. It had room to grow, so I'm going to get more crystallization. There's a face right there. All right, once I get those loose, I will be sure to turn the camera back on. You can see up here, the quartz is still very clear. That's just a little bit below the, maybe a foot deep. Huh. So I'm gonna to try to keep my tree where, right where it is. Provides a lot of shade. Probably a good 10 degrees. All right, that's it for now.